Hey, good morning. Um, just wanted to come to you real quick and just let you know something that has been going on in my brain for, since about November. Back in November, I went to a, a conference at Ridgecrest in North Carolina, Black Mountain, and it was the um, Women's Forum, National Leadership Women's Forum thingy. Well, um, Beth Moore was there speaking, and um, yes, I talked about her yesterday, and I am today too. I really enjoy her speaking and her teaching and all of that. But anyway, um, there was something that she said that just hit home with me bigger than everything. Um, she said we have to be careful and make sure that we are not just transmitting, but we are receiving. And what she was talking about was all the technology today and Twitter and Facebook and blah, 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 all these kinds of things. And that people are sending out, they are transmitting all of these great um, things of information, but, but are we really receiving and letting it dig deep down in our heart to change us? And really, all the all these wonderful quotes that are being tweeted um, every single day by Spurgeon, Piper, you know, all the all the heroes um, are wonderful. But it's but it's the scripture. It's the scripture that's going to make a huge change in your life. And um, there was a lady that I have met through Twitter. Um, she's actually a nun. And um, she was listening to Beth Moore speak yesterday at Passion. And she, um, she said that her, her computer was running so slow that she was able to take fabulous notes. And so I asked her, I said, would you mind sharing those notes? So she sent me four pages of notes from, the, um, from Beth speaking at the Passion Conference just a couple of days ago and it was wonderful 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 and the thing that stuck out with me about that is Beth was talking about being transformed by the renewing of our mind that we are taking in all this information but it is only the scripture that will change us so I get I get all these tweets automatically from these heroes and they are wonderful but it's up to me to take what I've received and go to the scripture and make sure that it is solid and whole and is is um, completely trustworthy and lines up with the scripture now do I trust all these heroes that are sending tweets and things like that yes but, but they're human just like me, and there's a possibility for mistake. So we have to go back to the scripture and re renew our mind through scripture. Very, very, very important. So what happens? What happens when, what are, what are some reasons that we can drift away, that we can take in all this information, these tweets and, and Facebook and all of that, we can take it in, but we never go back to the scripture. And before you know it, you haven't had a quiet time in forever because you're taking all these tweets and things as your quiet time. Eh, it's not going to work. Okay, so let me just tell you, I, w I was reading in Isaiah 14, and it is about um, repentance. And, and that was cool. This, these notes yesterday, Beth Moore was talking about repentance. And um, just coming back, coming back to the center, which is Jesus Christ, the, the balance wheel of everything. And anyway, in Isaiah, it's talking about repentance brings blessing. When you come back and lay it all honesty, honestly out before the Lord, it brings blessing. Do we do things just to be blessed? No. But be, when we are obedient, God just blesses us just because he is so stinking awesome. So, what causes some people to drift away? Well, in this scripture of Isaiah 14, they had had an alliance with Assyria. And, um, and so, just being unequally yoked. Look at your life and think about all of those that you are intertwined with, and are you unequally yoked? That can cause you to drift away. Those, those friendships that have become crucial in your life, and yet it's not for a ministry purpose. It's just, um, just so 
just because you love them, is it causing you to be unequally yoked? Um, another thing is confidence in fleshly strength. Isaiah 4, or Hosea 14, 3 says, Assyria cannot save us. We will not mount war horses. We will never say again our gods to what our own hands have made. For in you the fatherless find compassion. Another thing that causes us to drift away is man-made gods. Um, just uh, food. <laughs> ah, that hits home. Um, just friendships, um, money, all these things that we rely on greater than our Lord. And, it, and it, it's tough and it hurts and it hinders our relationship with God. So are you a transmitter? Are you just sending out all this great information, a quote here or there, a scripture? Scripture's good. But are, are you just sending out all this information? Or are you receiving it and becoming renewed in your mind day in and day out? Are you drifting away because of unequally yoked? You're trusting your own strength or you have these man-made gods? Or are you trusting the scripture, the scripture that will renew your mind daily? Are you a transmitter or are you a receiver and changed because of the power of his word? All right, y'all, I got to go. My foot is on fire because it has been down for too long. <laughs> so I will talk to you later. I love you. Love to hear back from you. See ya. Bye.